dude, Dina is pregnant. Pregnart, Pregnardo with child, Dina is pregnant, and I was not expecting this for the beginning of the game. I feel like we have barely scratched the surface of The Last of Us Part Two. I've just been running around like a chicken with my head chopped off, exploring things, doing things. I mean, obviously, it was a heavy emotional start to the game with the whole Joel thing. We're not gonna, you know, you know what happened. You were there. We don't have to go over it again. But besides that, we've just been chilling, exploring around. And I mean, yeah, I was really sad, Joel and Shimmer. But like, this is not something that I had on my bingo sheet for The Last of Us Part Two. But I am absolutely here for it. I cannot imagine what the uh, Naughty Dog has in store for us for the rest of our journey going into this game, considering we're still so early in. And speaking of being early in, I know we're on episode like five now or something, but I just want to let you guys know that I upgraded our capture card for my system. So I got a fancy internal one that actually goes into my computer. Hopefully it'll be high quality, better frame rate, things like that. I'm hoping because um, I realized that The Last of Us Part 2 hasn't been as crispy as it could be. And uh, I did try to upgrade the capture card prior to starting The Last of Us Part 2 because I was just using an old rinky dink one from like my high school and college days. I was not anticipating A, so much growth and love and support on the channel. So thank you for that. And then B, playing such beefy games because I just got my PlayStation 5. So a lot of things are changing at a speed that I am trying to frantically keep up with. Um, but hopefully, yeah, this one works because the one that I got right before we started was just of a bust it had audio issues all sorts of stuff so we got a good one i'm really excited to see how it runs i'm really excited to see where today's episode takes us i've been thinking about this game all week i've got my coffee hopefully you have a drink of choice as well and without further ado let's get into it is it weird that i still feel cozy when i'm playing this game i'm not trying to milk the whole cozy game thing but I have this warmth when I open the game up and I'm starting to play again. Maybe it's because I know you guys are here and you guys are watching the videos and I don't feel like alone and traumatized because we're all traumatized together. You know, it, it just it just brings me comfort when I open this game. Maybe I maybe I'm a sicko. I'm probably a sicko. That's probably. Oh, God. Okay, so, yes. So, Danina just told us her secret. She's taking a little nap because we told her that she's a mistake or something to that effect. Uh. Yes. This is awesome. Super dark in here. I am not okay right now. Bro, if something jumps out at me, I will not hesitate to poop my pants. I'm just doing it. Fuck it. Okay. Whew. Folks are requesting that I play Outlast. Because <sighs> they said it's stealth. And I'll be scared the whole time, so... I feel like this is just a... <laughs> Pre-game for when I play Outlast. <laughs> oh! Oh, nice! I wonder how many people die in this play. That's depressing. Okay, Ellie. Out of all the things to say, like, wow, what a nice dress. I did say something about a tragedy on it, but still. I don't want to go into the actual theater yet. Okay, I can't. Good, good. Yup. Man. Uh, 
That looks scary. I mean, that's just like probably the worst case scenario besides, I mean, no offense, like having a baby isn't the end of the world, but in this instance, it kind of is. And Dina's probably fucking going through it. Knowing that, I mean, why would you want to share that in this point in time? It's like things are going well with the girl you like. You and that dude broke up anyways, and you're also in the middle of an apocalypse traveling across the country looking for a random group of, like, terrorists or cultists or whatever. Like, why would you want to share that you're pregnant? You... It's one of those, like, if you just ignore it, it's probably not true. Like, maybe if you just pretend like it's not true, then it won't be true, you know? The baby will just magically not happen. I couldn't even imagine. Oh boy, September 13th. I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. Either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food, then see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15th. Constant rain means at least I won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's answering anyways. The WLF can't have hit all of the Fedra listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16th. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago still shaking. Need a cigarette. Do you think there you think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere at a fucking theater, but apparently not this one. September 19th. Power went out again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Mm. Someone was living here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Need to get the power going. Dang. I kind of want to finish exploring this floor before I go out the window, so... I'm gonna do that. September 4th. Me, Perez, Green, and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago, and so far, so good. WLF haven't come looking hard here yet. The city is lost to the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres, Ward, and the others are probably dead. Camping here. Grateful to be alive for now. September 6th. Can't sleep. Burning up with a fever. No medicine. Looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th, still feverish. Don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for whoever, wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th, shouldn't be taking this long. Ah, and that's when we get to September 13th. Mm-hmm. That's when we get to September 13th. We haven't made a lot of friends. That's something that I've noticed. I don't know, it's just because we're like early into the game, but in the part one, we had Tess, and then we had Sam and Henry, and Bill. We had a lot of helpers along the way. Right now, it's just been me and Dina and a bunch of random hooligans, you know? We haven't had any friends. Why is it so dark? Ooh! Beyond. Real name, Imani Graves. 80 brains, 40 brawn. Affiliation, none. After a near-death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks, this seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world to the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead. Now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spiritual medium for grieving families seeking closure. However, her forays, and, forays in the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise. 
She looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? Oof. Damn. You know what's cool? Well, maybe not cool, but the reason it's probably dark is because I got the new capture card and I had to adjust the HDR and stuff. So hopefully it looks really good on your end too, because I think that's why it's darker. It's just more immersive. All right, I think we're done here. Let's go outside. Oops. Got it. Damn. Damn fried. Oh my god. Jesus. That sucks. Is that what happened to our little buddy? Can I turn on like a film? Like a man in the high castle type situation where that shows us the future? <laughs> that would be helpful right now. Arguably creepier with the lights on. Do not flicker. I'm afraid. Wow. Oh, Joel, you love watching a movie in this place. I'm afraid. afraid I'm not good right now dude frat <laughs> sick habit set list Who can say? Is there like a weird 
meaning behind this? Is there like a weird... I don't know. I feel like may maybe this... I don't know if this was actually a ban. I don't know. I, I don't want to like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. I'll Google it afterwards. Dude, I am not okay right now. Okay, fuck it, we're doing it. Oh, spooky. No way. Oh, snap. Not again. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Just it? Yeah. Oh, shit. What? I'm gonna start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna guess. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Can I turn off the HDR? Okay. Sorry. It just felt so. Is it a lot of kittens? Right. You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what. It's called a litter. It's so dumb. More walking, less talking. Where are we going? Step. I got it. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What? What am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. Dude! Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. 
Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Uh, dude, that's awesome. They actually took time to learn. Yeah, come here. Take a look at this. See that deer? See yeah. Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. Ha <laughs> 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 How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, <laughs> actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <sighs> not the reaction she was going for. Aww. You're gonna need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Dude, they're so mean. For letting us be with Joel again. This is <sighs> this hurts my heart. And a really smart way to put in a fish, uh, swimming tutorial. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon. My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rob you up. It's hard when they're dicks. The point still stands. <laughs> All right, got another dive over here. Where are you digging? Yeah, me? what is happening? Sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. <laughs> there. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. Listen, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Are we going? Am I going? I guess I'll go. I'll lead the way. If I ever were to lose you. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Holy shit, Joel. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. What? Oh. It's a motherfucking dinosaur. King of the tyrant lizards. Dude! That's a big boy. That's a big boy. So we will get to go back and see all her old pages. Oh, I'm nosy. I'm going all the way back, baby. All right, this is where we started. Aw, Tommy and Joel. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. Found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he says I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smug old fogey. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose? Maybe not. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got us all paper. Oh, got us all this paper. It's pretty great. Aww. That's why she loves dinosaurs. 
Because when we went into Joel's house, after he passed, there was like the book on dinosaurs or something. And I was like, what is this in reference to? Wait, did I already, did I read this signpost? <gasps> Museum? Wait. Hello. Goodbye. That bird was inside of that column. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. How did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. Dude. So cool. I don't want to go in yet. I want to look at the dinosaur more. We, we just like sketched it, I guess. You can't read anything about it. I feel like it's it's got to have more to it. We just drew a picture of it. jump, right? Can I jump on it? What are you doing? No way! Uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Ah! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Bro. We are not doing that. There is one... Ellie dies. The end. All right. Ah! Hey, hey. Okay, we didn't die. Woo! Is there any loot down here or anything? Like weird trading cards that <laughs> got lost. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was so cool. What? All right, now are we done with the dinosaur? Thank you, kind sir. Well, my dinosaur book's all wet now. <laughs> Exhibit entrance. A hat! Ooh. You want to try it on? I do not. Hmm. You're lost. Hell yeah. Mini cast? Oh, that's so cool. Is it a hand puppet? An egg? A claw? I want to put all of it on. Alright, the hat will have to do. Look at this drip! Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D... Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. 
I mean, at least that's what they called him in this movie I saw. Hmm. Jurassic Park? <laughs> All the dinosaur fans are going mad crazy right now. Welcome to the Wyoming Museum. The museum has been curated to create an engaging and thoughtful experience for the whole family. If you need any assistance at all, please stop by the help desk in the lobby or simple or simple ask a friendly or simply ask or simple ask a friendly staff member. They will assist you right away. Did I just find a typo? Or simple ask. Wow. Unfinished game. How did Naughty Dog do it? Platinum. Oh yeah, this is realistic. People that donate to museums and such and... Get their names put on it for history. For all of time. Compsognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. Yeah. They'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. Oh. So there was a sequel. It wasn't as good. <laughs> Would you guys rather be fighting a bunch of tiny chickens? Like a hundred tiny chickens or one dinosaur like T-Rex size massive chicken? Question always brews in my mind. Hundred of these small boys or one big boy? Step back through time to over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the earth in our giant's pavilion. You'll find full skeletons on display. See how you'd measure up next to our own Triceratops, Winnie, and don't forget to look up. There are pterodactyls circling. Afterward, head into our annexes to get hands-on with the fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. Giants of the past. Triceratops. Winnie. Whoa. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Same. Same! This game is so relatable. Feast your eyes on the Stegosaurus. Paleontologists aren't sure what purpose the spikes and plates served. They could have been used for defense. This is one I recognize. Courtship displays, or... Stegosaurus. Oh yeah, I know this one too. Thermorgulation. What do you think? Here you can find a dinosaur that was immortalized into the ocean floor. Shells are the world's longest living fossils. Shells have been in the ocean for many years. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. Jurassic Park movie night time in the Discord. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I've, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> oh, these guys! These look like such good boys. They're lizard doggos. Demetrodons? 
It's a good boy. <laughs> Joel, look. <laughs> that is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. <laughs> It's called a Hattasaur, dude. This is so cute. My smile right now is just ear to ear. This is the cutest thing I have seen in a video game. Oh my gosh. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. Oh. What's an apex predator? The most badass predator. Facts. Huh. Pretty short for that. Hey, we hey, stand. What are you talking about me? We stand short kings. I thought I was going to pet it, because we've pet every doggo in this game. Okay, there's a little upstairs area. And then there's that hallway. This one leads off to a balcony, oh, so... Sounds like a pill. It does indeed. Can I jump over this? Oh, okay. Ooh. This moment. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved him. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Is this from a movie also? This is giving me like dinosaur vibes. You guys know that movie? One with like Aladar and stuff. Old movie. Oh my god! It's gonna be a thing. Please don't let it be a thing. Ah! <laughs> oh. Brachios. I wish that was bonus. Huh. <laughs> I'm putting this hat on every freaking dinosaur that I can. Another hat! Oh, the only thing better than one hat is two hats, baby! Let's go! Oh! Oh! I'm leaving it on the good boy. I'm putting this on the doggo, and then I'm gonna grab the second hat. Come on. Hmm. It just looks too good. This guy looked too dapper with the hat on. Whatever floats your boat. Yep. This does. Floats it all day. Yep. I'm getting another one. Sorry, Joel. I'm on a mission. I'm a man with a plan. <laughs> now we're talking, milady. Let's fucking go. Hey, Joel. Ellie. <gasps> Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good on you, trophy earned. Okay, never mind. I'm taking this hat off of this guy then. I thought it was like two hats that we could put on all the dinosaurs. But I'm taking it and we're going to keep putting it on every single dinosaur. That I can. Wait, can I put it on these dinosaurs? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But I'm also not sorry because it's going to happen again. Uh, Did this these guys? This guy has a tiny ass head. <gasps> Wait, can I put it on every... Tiny head. <sighs> That's what I said! <laughs> Look at that small head! Peanut head looking ass. Look at this. Give me that bag. What about this guy? <gasps> oh, the snoot! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, come on. Oh, yeah, this was definitely worth the three day ride to get here. <laughs> it's a nose hat! Bro, come on. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the museum. Wait, does, can this guy have a hat? Oh, I'm putting one on. Oh, I already sniped it. I already see it. Second story. Hat boy. Right there. Right, Looking right over. We're putting a hat on this boy. Joel's gonna have to lift us, but we're doing it, baby. Can I do this? No? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, this is just a bathroom. We'll just go down here real quick first. Ooh! Nighthawk! Nice! Oh, cool. What you got there? These, uh, superhero cards. 
Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was the little creature thing? I forget. He's mentioning Sarah a lot. This much this must like be very um very nostalgic for him. Nostalgic and <sighs> there's another word for it and I'm losing it. Heavily emotional. But like also saddening at the same time. It'll come to me hopefully, but uh yeah. Poor guy. Just like being here with Ellie. Bittersweet almost because he's sad because he misses Sarah, but he also has Ellie now. So he's probably just kind of going through a lot in his head. Or maybe he's just not thinking about it. Maybe he's just not thinking about it. He's just trying to enjoy the moment. Jerry Lavelle, Brains 80, Brawn 80. Nice. We love a well rounded king. Affiliation Society of Champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark oh, Aerobots. <laughs> Joel? Wait, pause. Put that away. Is he saying something? He wasn't. Okay, anyways. Uh... <laughs> Spark Airbots in the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal Greyhound Ezio, the small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evildoers, always ready to dive back into action. Hero. Wow. Some mantis blades, that's pretty badass. And leg implants. Bathroom stalls. little things it's the little things all right hat time baby we got a mission we got a mission we already put a hat on that boy some more fossils oh this one looks like a bird Mm -hmm. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. <laughs> a movie. Keep going. You have a hat? No hat. Thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. <laughs> Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tommy. <laughs> the roast. Oh my god, Velociraptor. So schmoll. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. I like iguanodons. They're cool. I almost got a dinosaur tattoo once. Not to say that's a dead dream. Still could happen. But, big old dinosaur skull. 
maybe I can still get it, and now it'll have more meaning. I was just gonna get it because I thought it looked cool, but... This actually kind of works out, because... Now I could commemorate the last of us! Ooh, is it hat time? Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Okay, don't judge me. I cry a lot. So beautiful. Extinction. It is still not fully understood what caused the real extinction of the dinosaurs. However, most scientists agree that it was likely triggered by a large asteroid hitting the Yucatan Peninsula over Mexico, of Mexico over 65 million years ago. An estimated... Point eight. <laughs> All right, I quit. I'm fired. <laughs> oh. oh. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um. We can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Al Ellie wanted to be a astronaut. A walk through the stars. Where's Pluto? Was Pluto canceled in 2013? I'm Googling it. When was Pluto canceled? 2006. Oh. oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. This is so cool. Hey, Joel. Vostok. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gun grow, you are smart. <laughs> Thanks. Did they become super fly? What? No. <laughs> what? No. Obviously, she hasn't seen Spider-Man. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. I would smell the moon. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? <laughs> I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway, 
<laughs> he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. I was about to roast her for that. Wow. How many books have you read about this? Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess relatively speaking, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. Yeah. They have bigger fish to fry. How many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. <laughs> Last of Us Part Three. Ellie becomes an astronaut. Zombies in space. One day. Aww. That would be a really cool tattoo. Just that little black box. Is she gonna get in it? Who cares, right? Mario Kart at this point. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. <laughs> Duh. Hang on. Is this the real one? I'm considering they left the real ones on the moon. I would say no. <laughs> Look at this screen. You guys know I'm a sucker for light. It's like dirty. It's got blotches in the bottom right. Epic. Whoa. A glitch. Oh, there goes again. Where was it? Oh! I... Did you guys see it or am I crazy? I'm just gonna keep moving. Maybe I'm crazy. Awesome. Space, man. All right, let's do it. Whoa. <laughs> but now, hold on just a minute. If you're going into space, you're gonna need a helmet. Huh? Oh, right. What was I thinking? <laughs> Throws the hat. Cool. Yeah. How does it smell in there? Like space. And yeah, dust. Oh, I get to pick, huh? I'm putting them all on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This one looks like a goldfish bowl. All right, let's go. Joel needs one, too. After you. <laughs> wow. 
Watch your head. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. What? Is it like the museum? walkthrough tour or something? What is it? Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Okay. How do you such a good guy? Say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. No. That's so cool. That is so cool. Who knew that he would only have two or three more birthdays with her? my hat back. And happy. And sad. 
I don't know how to feel right now. <sighs> Can I leave? Am I trapped? Damn, this is a really cool birthday present. Like, I don't know how he would ever top this. Oh, wait. Nope, same. I just jump over the railing. Did I break it? Exit. Ah. Here. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? I just want to stay here forever. Never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here! No! Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring. You can't to keep do. doing that. Bet. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. Nice <laughs> splash. Aw, man. Who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. I mean, there's probably not any infected, right? It's a museum. All right. Who died in a museum? Yep. There. Or got infected in a museum, I guess it's possible. I'm afraid. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. <laughs> can I get myself a little souvenir? T-shirt? No. Oh god. I killed for them? I hate this. I really don't like this. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. I killed for them. What the fuck? Bye, son. I need Joel with me. This scared me. This guy needed a hug. <sighs> I'm afraid. Why is it so dark? The four soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. Bro, this is fucked. I just want to go to the museum. Why can't we just have one nice thing? It's dark in here. Bro. I just want one nice thing. I'm turning my volume down. I can't do this. 
I'm not emotionally stable enough. I'm... Why is there a bottle? The woman we tor we tortured choked on her own blood? Oh, shit. What the frick? Dude. There's a bottle. Oh! The stragglers who snuck into camp, they just wanted food. Stop it! Dude, I'm gonna die. Can I just throw this? All right, perimeter. Where do you go around the perimeter? Why are they giving me supplies? I don't want this, bro. I just wanted to go to the museum. The kid who ran into the black. Last, I couldn't stop him. Is this just Joel? Oh. I hate this. They're giving me equipment for a Molotov. The people in the van, we locked them in and doused it with gas. There's no light. What the frick? Watch it just be a raccoon. suffering we wanted to restore humanity each time we sacrificed part of ourselves our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it now we've disbanded we have nothing to show for our sins i thought coming here might reignite something some purpose my parents loved bringing me here it's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak before all the cruelty and savagery those memories just made me angrier i don't want to be in this world anymore i can't look at the person i've become Come on, alcohol. All right, fuck it, I'm going in. <gasps> Stupid fake animals. Some animal. <sighs> huh. 
Huh. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. sweet little episode i am very surprised that i didn't cry but also i didn't really feel the need to cry because we were there with joel we were there with ellie it was just like a melancholic nostalgia moment where we got to see the happiest ellie probably was whether that's like in her whole life or at least in the time that we've known her we truly got to see her experience joy through the dinosaurs and the hats and just running around crazy exploring everything in the little astronaut scene that's the one that almost got me with the tears almost but it just meant a lot to me that the developers not only did they include that for us but also it indicates that ellie whether she's just dozing off or it's a dream of hers that memory is so fond to her and she holds on to it so tightly that when she's in distress or sad she can go back to that place just like it was yesterday and for us to get to experience that alongside her even if it's years later is just so special and i'm really glad that we got to do that we get to do all the things and i'm glad i jumped off the dinosaur i almost didn't we almost missed it but something told me to go back and uh, do all the things so thank you all for being here thank you all for watching it uh it was a short and sweet episode looking forward to moving on into the heavy stuff but i thought this would be a good place to end because why why add any craziness when we can just pause it right here and enjoy the moment for what it is so i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya